in turn. I have to say, I'm pretty proud of the work we've done so far. There you go, Black Rhino 2. There you go. She's gonna go lay down in the like little. Look at that. Look at that. She's gonna lay down in it. Just wait for it. Oh, there she goes, settling in. And there goes a very good zookeeper. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, and the meerkats are giving birth. Look, we can turn right around and look right into the little meerkat area. Isn't that just the most wonderful thing? Let's pop in and see how they're doing. Let's see if we can find the new babies. Oh, there's their roots. Hi, little one. Add some more roots. Oh, I love it when they stand up. Isn't it just the cutest thing? Oh, my goodness. And the finnick foxes are pregnant. This is a large... Oh, my gosh. Look at all these meerkats. And also, there's a lot of meerkat poop and a lot of their purring. I love it when they purr. They're so cute when they purr. There you go, little one. There you go. Oh, look at them. Oh, you guys are just the most precious things. I love it. I absolutely love it. But all right, so. Ah, that was that was a pretty good lunch break intern. I actually feel very refreshed. I have to say, we need more we need more refreshment stands. I feel like we need to bring back the ice cream from Coral Cove. If you recall, our marine park that we used to have named Coral Cove, and we kept many, many, many delicious different varieties of ice cream there. And I think we need to start doing that again here. I'm just wondering what on earth would we name the ice cream? So if you have any ideas in turn, you let me know. And for now, we are going to get back to work on making sure that our warthogs are as happy as they possibly can be. We actually adopted out several of the male warthogs and uh, a few male meerkats, a few male lemurs, just uh, a couple sand cats, quite a few creatures, but ones that we just didn't have space for anymore. And I still actually have to go look at our spurred tortoises and make sure that there's no space for them there, that we can move them too. But it seems like everybody is much happier with a bit of new space. And really, for rhinos and warthogs, they needed a lot more space than they previously had. So I'm very happy to see that they've got all this space nice and prepared. And we just need to... Oh, the giraffes are doing well. And we just need to connect it up. So I have made this path winding through. It's going past the meerkats. Uh, it's going past our little bathroom fountain area with the jeep tour entrance and it, let it like leads this cave tunnel the cave painting i kind of moved so it turns this way you walk through it and you come over into the area between the rhinoceri and the meerkats and you can walk down here like this individual right here is doing she's come to come uh, view some animals she's taking a photo already Ooh, and she likes the Piri david's deer you know, we need to work on... Ooh, an ostrich! I was just thinking we needed to add ostriches! That's fantastic! I really was just thinking we needed to add ostriches. And I was thinking, um... Maybe we could start connecting up some of these Safari Zone exhibits, too. Like, maybe we can take this rhino one that we made and continue over with it over here. And then start adding in ostriches and more gazelles and antelope and things like that. As well as like maybe if we have any of the large, the other large kind of cattle, bovine type creatures. And of course lions. We've never ever had lions in one of our zoos before in turn, ever. So I'm really excited about the ideas of adding, uh, the idea of adding lions in. We have cheetahs. Cheetahs are right over here, and in fact, we might need to make sure that we have a breeding pair of cheetahs. But I'm, I'm getting really excited about this. This is one of our most beautiful, richest of all of the zoos. And I would love to see it continually like updated and worked on. Let's see, it seems like everyone is standing here to look through the gate for some reason. Same on this side now that I notice it. Can you guys not see just through the normal? The normal, like, pretty cedar fence? Is the glass a little bit too complicated for our guest? Oh my gosh! Wow! Our guest can't see through this fencing! What? <laughs> okay, hang on, intern. That's not good. It's beautiful fencing, but if our guest can't see through it, that's like, air, air! Big problem, big problem. I thought for sure I guess we'd be able to see right through it, but apparently not. So let's just try a normal glass fence um, at three height. No, we want two height. What about a normal glass fence like this? Can you guys see through that? Is that uh, something you guys can, can see through? Oh, look at that. Now they can see the whole exhibit. 
I can't believe that. So they can't see through here. <laughs> They've been coming up to the gate and putting their little fingers through the zookeeper gates going, I want to see the meerkats. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this whole time they haven't been able to see the meerkats. I feel so silly. Well, I'm glad we figured that out and we can swap it out, replace everything. That was astute observation that managed to... Uh, to help us out there in turn and that's why no matter how old you get or what you do or what job if you decide scoop and poop isn't for you and you you pursue a new career no matter what you do or where you go just remember your powers of observation can save you many hours of heartache and frustration all right and we will actually swap out the glass fence a little bit with some wooden fences uh yes yeah, so of this height to provide a little bit of privacy here and there for the meerkats. They're pretty laid back, like they don't fuss too much about needing privacy to be honest. But we'll just kind of like give them some corners here and there where they don't need to be worried about being watched. Maybe just like that. Hmm. Or maybe just enclose the whole this whole corner and then people can pay attention to what what's going to be over here in the future. There we go. So, yesties. All of a sudden, they magically can see the exhibit a million times better. Oh my gosh. Well, that goes to show you should always consult your guests and ask them, like, personally, can you see what I'm trying to show you? Because if they can't, you need to fix it. All right, there. I think everyone's going to be shocked. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, there were meerkats here all along, which should be pretty entertaining. All right, and then let's go ahead, and before we put down the benches, actually, let's get some of these arches in. I specifically made sure that the path was three wide so that we could add in some arches. Um, that is an unfortunate location I put that gate. Yeah, we're going to have to move the gate because I, I don't want to, I don't want, right there. Okay, come here, get out of the way. All right, there we go. So we put down our desert arches first. Kind of at interval. Where's another good spot? Here's another good spot. Three? Yeah, three seems like it'd be good over here. And then we want to grab our desert lamp post. It's amazing how well these light up the area. And we'll just plunk, plunk, plunk. Plunk, plunk, plunk. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. So that's a good start. Now everybody's going to be quite impressed when they walk through that. And now we need some nice little benches so that people can sit and relax. Um, and we'll have an educator over here, actually. So we'll put, like, some benches. Maybe, like, can I put a bench right? No, not quite. Okay, we'll put a bench right there. And... I wonder how close I could... I don't know if you'd want to sit too close to the warthogs. I don't know. I think it might be a bit of a smelly spot to, to be situated in. Um, but, you know, I'm not a guest. And you know what? I'm one of those people who can go to a farm. And I don't mind the smells of a farm. I actually find it quite enchanting to just be able to spend time outdoors. Uh, even if it smells like a barnyard. I actually like the smell of a barnyard in the sense that I know I'm outside. I'm around livestock and animals. So maybe some people feel like that too. I can't believe we're not five star yet. I swear this is like one of our best zoos and we're not five star yet. There is a very very thirsty warthog that keeps complaining about dying of thirst. Pawing the ground looking for water. You poor little thing. Can't you see this? There you go. I guess we need to put some water troughs, 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 there we go, at the back over here too. That should help them. They're not, they can't see very well, so I could see why a warthog would have a lot of problems. Unable to reach the food trough. Okay, well, fine. They don't like doubled up. They don't like it doubled up like that. That's fine. That's fine. I see how it is. There we go. There, that should be good. All right, good. And so the guesties can come over here. And enjoy looking at the warthogs and everybody else. We need to put down some donation boxes. Like right in the middle there. And maybe... That one's kind of close. Maybe another one. Um, right here. When people are looking at the cuteness of the meerkats. Which they can now see. <laughs> which they're probably going to be much happier about. And then maybe a couple viewing canopies just sort of spread about 
There we go. And we'll fix this. Honestly, viewing canopy, don't be rude. Ruining my, my perfect little turfs. Alright, there we go. Hmm. It still seems sparse in this area for some reason. Well, let's set up an educator, and I'm gonna put a shade structure back here to protect said educator. I would, like, I just consider that being nice to my employees, because I would hate to work over here and be out in the open sun all the time, baking and boiling, and having no protection. I, I know, we'll put in some binoculars. There we go, so then we'll get the educator's podium set up. Let's see, would an angle work better? No, not really. So we'll just put the educator right here. Trying to line that up. Yeah, right there. We'll scoot their little shade structure over a teeny bit. That's better. So now the educator can feel like they're not going to boil to death in the, the hot sun. And let's plunk an educator down. There you go, my friend. You can teach everybody about meerkats and warthogs and the reason that rhinos are endangered. Never by ivory intern. I really hope you know that. It's just a matter of people... Let's see, I wonder if the shade structure... There you go, sir. There you go. And now you can go to your little podium. And you can give a chitta chat. And now you're in the shade, too. Good. He should be should be well satisfied, I think. The only thing that could make this better... And I know you're going to roll your eyes at me in turn. But it will make it better. <laughs> oh, let's do this. And... A few plants. Just a few. Just a few. No no need to give me the side eye in turn. No need to give me the side eye indeed. There we go. There you are, sir. Some nice pretty plants. You can teach everyone about meerkats. The warthogs seem happy. There. Wonderful. Alright, let's get down and tour this area. Make sure it's a-okay. Oh. I really do love coming into the caves, though, and just studying up the little paintings, even though they're mimics, and I know that there's something really awesome about it. But all right, so people would come from over here, where this child is very, oh, excitedly watching the meerkat bathe in the little dust bath. Are you so cute? Oh, it's a little baby. Oh, I love it when they do that. He's sound asleep. Look at him. Look at him snoozy little guy and look at the whole big family we have over here isn't this awesome look at this family all right let's come through hi everyone hi everyone pardon me got a little bit of poop to scoop over here i see i could probably add in a few more things for you guys a few more plants here and there oh my goodness <laughs> so many like you can hear them just snoring away and the babies clamoring everywhere Oh, that's just adorable. That's just adorable. There is a lot of poop though, so I should probably assign additional additional zookeepers to, uh, to assist. Oh, I love it when they stand up like that. Why are you guys so adorably precious? Oh, meerkats are probably one of my favorites. All right, so let's pop out of our gate. And yeah, look at this area. There's a nice lot of benches, so you can just come over. You can sit and watch the meerkats be absolutely freaking adorable. Beautiful, beautiful areas, nice bit of shade to stand in, so you can just see what's going on in the rhinoceros area. There's some rhinoceri, there's some poop, that tells me. <laughs> Alright, come here, we need more zookeepers. I'll hire two more, because we're, we're making pretty good money off the lemurs, actually, believe it or not. Uh, or the... Uh, a little cockwheels, or I think that's how you pronounce it, cockwheels, or something like that. All right, you're gonna be warthog keeper, and then there's so many meerkats. I'm gonna assign a straight up meerkat keeper, but we are making enough money now. Meeper, I'm just gonna call him the Meeper, Meeper Barker. Get in here, Meeper Barker. You're in charge of this zone now. He's not the keeper, he's the meeper, because he takes care of the me meerkats. Oh, that's adorable. How are you doing, ma'am? She still likes those David's deer. Oh, she needs to use the bathroom. She's also pretty hungry. Let's see if we can entice her to uh, settle in in one of our restaurants. I wonder if the restaurants are too far away now. No, the bathroom's right behind you, ma'am. No, 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 you want, you want this. You want this right here. This is a bathroom. It's a family restroom. 
I should probably add more of them, actually, now that I think of it. Um, over on this side. That would be a good spot to do that, just like right here. I don't want to cut off the animals area, though. Ha! Huh. You probably do need to add more bathrooms. No, why are you going over to the drinking fountain? You're so thirsty, or you're so, so, have to use the potty. Worried. Worried about her. Alright, what's the zookeeper? One of the lemur zookeepers. Good. If she's resting, that means that we've got enough lemur zookeepers to be taking care of that whole area. I guess we could add... Oh, I bet we could put, a, like, a drinking fountain in here. I see no reason why that wouldn't be a nice thing to do. Um, it should be next to a restroom, I think, though. Interesting. Alright. So she's getting a nice drink. Now what does she need to do? I'm so worried she's going to leave. She's not feeling very entertained. Probably because she's hungry. Alright, now she's off to use the bathroom. Well, come here, ma'am. I can help you out with that. Come on, don't be confused. Current users, zero. That shouldn't be happening. Oh, wait, there she goes. Alright, good. Alright, but that does remind me. We do need more spots for, uh, for guests to relieve themselves. So actually, I'll make a little spot right here. Because, ironically, it's close to where we have this, oh my gosh, overflowing compost heap. I'm going to have to empty that. Uh, should be right here. Yeah, yeah, we'll just put it right there. And we'll have to deck it out with the bells and whistles when we put in our gift shop over here, too. So I'll have to wait for just a wee bit. Let's see, where's the, the cracked mud? There we go, cracked mud path. There's that. A little bit of the acacia trees to cover cover the area. Hopefully provide a little bit of shade. Jeez Louise, it's so dark now. <laughs> Sorry everyone, I know it's really dark. Oh yay, Meerkat19 is going to give birth. That's wonderful. Alright, let's put the cracked mud path in here. And then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Super, super duper tiny exhibit, maybe? Whoops. Didn't want to put that into the lemur exhibit. Because this is going to be where we'll have the gift shop for sure. But it's much larger than we need for just the gift shop. So maybe just like an area, like a fountain over here, more plants over here, gift shop right here. Let's see, small fountain. Can I put you... Or maybe a big fountain. We haven't had a big fountain for a while. Come here. Come here, desert fountain. You want to come over here? In fact, we could even remove... Ooh, let's remove the fencing. Now that we've done a wee bit of work over here. There's that. And we could actually put the gift shop towards the back. Desert fountain over here. I like it. I like it. Okay. Everything's starting to come together. Still want to leave that to be like a little garden piece if possible. Wait there, look at that. We're figuring out the way it curves now in turn. Alright, so where's the desert fountain? There we go. Come here, desert fountain. Speaking of desert fountain, we should probably start adding in more desert critters. Alright, there's that. And should I change the cracked path? I think I just want it to run like alongside the fountain so it's all in the same sort of zone. And that's all. There we go. Alright, there we go. So now there's a nice pretty fountain. There's a place for you to use the restroom. We can put like a little a little protected area where you can get a nice drink. Like here's the viewing canopy. And we can put the viewing canopy down if possible. Kind of like right here. Not quite centered as I wanted, but we can't have everything we want in turn. And then some drinking fountains. One right here, and one right here. And then, oh, is that boy already going for one? No, no, he's all right. There we go. And then maybe a bench? It's these little details that add up in turn. You know it, you know it from personal experience of working here with me for so long, that these teensy little details add up to make the most impressive of areas. All right, put that there. There we go. Use a little bit of that. It's a dash of this, a dash of that with the plants, and then just kind of keeping an eye on the inter or the interns, keeping an eye on the guests to see where they start wandering. There we go. Look at that. Nice little pile of these pretty flowers. Voila, beautiful fountain. Voila. 
meerkat. We probably should add another termite mound with insects because there's a hundred million meerkats now. There you go, guys. Now you don't have to fuss over the same ones. And finally, a gift shop to go in the back corner over here. And we can spruce up some of the other details later. Ooh, and look at all the things we can... <gasps> like little reptile houses. Ooh, the Arabian Nights reptile house. Don't mind if I do. The aquarium with tropical fish. Not really applicable to the current area we're in, but I would still consider it. And finally, the gift shop. Voila. All right, so now we'll just have to see if we can entice anyone to come over and buy from their intern. Ah, but we've done a good day's work, and I will see you bright and early next week as we start working again in our zoo. So, who knows what other problems we might have to take care of next. One thing down, more to go. I'll see you tomorrow, intern. Bye-bye.